Hi, this is Igor from HD Head, and this is the second part of the Dynamic Titles tutorial in Resolve. In this part, we'll get down and dirty with uh, this thing. So hopefully you have seen or you know how the effects library templates work in Resolve. I'm just going to throw a solid color generator onto the timeline, turn it into a compound clip and take that into Fusion. I'm not sure if this is the best or the only way to put something in Fusion so you can work with it, but let's not worry about that now. Here in Fusion, let's drop this text plus effect. Whatever you type, as soon as we drag and drop this into the viewer, is displayed here in the viewer. Let's type in word replace. And let's make a macro out of this thing. Create a macro. I won't go through the details of this. Hopefully you have seen the other tutorial or you know about this already. Where do we save this in Windows? If you're starting from scratch, for Windows only, the easiest thing is to go with the percentage sign app data, another percentage sign. So now we can pick Black Magic, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, Titles. It's a very convoluted long path, but uh, th th this is where user created titles have to exist. You can see the, the, the two other titles we've created in part one of the tutorial. Let's call this test and save it. We'll go back out to the edit page and the test will not be in Fusion Titles because you know why. We have to restart. Okay, here we are. There's our test. And cool, there's the word replace. Let's see how this looks like under the hood. Here's a new window. Let's go back to that same place. So the environment variable is app data. And then we go to Black Magic Design, DaVinci Resolve Fusion, Templates, Edit, Titles. Right. We'll open this in Notepad. See this word replace. Let's replace it with something else. Save this. This is still here, replaced, because remember from part one, it's not dynamic once the effect is baked on a timeline. But the next time we drop it, with something else is there. The trick is then, how do we replace this text? That's something that can be done in a number of different ways. Strictly speaking, we're not using Resolve Scripting, although we could use Resolve Scripting to retrieve some information from within the project, within the clip. Like, for example, for Slate, we could probably, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, I think there's a way to figure out the length of a timeline, so we could probably derive the length and put the total running time onto the Slate. There's a number of things you can do, a number, number of ways you can do it. If you go to my GitHub repository, you can find this uh, Resolve Dynamic Text project. And I'll just quickly show you. So for this now, you need Python skills, not, not really rocket science Python. Let's dissect this a little bit. This here is our main UI section. If you want to make some changes, even if you don't know Python, you can kind of figure out what's going on. Is We have button 1 and button 2. When button 1 is pressed, we go to dated slate. And button 2 is pressed, we go to a function called Bundesliga. They're up here. They describe what takes place. So, for example, for the dated slate, we get the date and the time. And then we call a couple of these methods from um, from title template class which is here and in the nutshell what happens here is we load the generic template and the gener generic templates I just put next to all of these uh, scripts just generic template one generic template two the reason why there are two is they're slightly different uh, the Bundesliga one has text at the bottom and text is a little smaller and also has a expression which makes it move from right to left this generic template one is the simpler one that's the template we use to replace with the date and time I'll just right click open with the notepad plus plus in it you see this word token and that's the string that we look for and replace we specify it right here so if you were to make your own it really this text can be anything as long as it matches what you have as the styles text value this thing will find it and replace it this will work on a Mac I haven't tested it but I'm pretty certain this is the correct path that's the path where the templates are saved uh, this we know works in Windows for sure I haven't implemented it for Linux yet. I, I've just been spread out thin doing not just this, but a bunch of other stuff. So I haven't, I haven't had time to test that. 
and the third Python file is the uh, Bundesliga one. It just grabs the RSS feed from from their website and uh, formats it as one long string, cleans it up a little and formats it. So this really can be anything. So if you stayed with me this far, you probably have pretty good ideas what this can be used for. Pooling sports scores and sports news and putting them on the screen as a crawl is kind of silly. But aside from that, you could definitely make slates. You could make titles that update like lower thirds that go to an Excel sheet, pull all the names and make templates for those. All kinds of title automation things that are typically done by hand. Hey, thanks for staying watching this until the end. I hope this can be useful and uh, have a good time until the next time.